Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Which input device do you rely more on? Moron. I'm not calling you a moron, I'm saying which device do you... Do you use the keyboard more, or do you use the mouse more? Do you use them equally? Um, I've certainly come to rely on the mouse uh, you know, more than I used to, but uh, I still use the keyboard, well, I, a lot. Keyboard shortcuts for the win. I love keyboard shortcuts. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate a website right now that uh, I'm going to be able to search for something. Those results, oh, excuse me. I've been uh, enjoying my uh, first cup of eggnog of the season. Half a cup, 140 calories, and that's the low cal. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate a website uh, that allows you to search uh, without even um, clicking a mouse button. And here's the mouse, and just to prove it, I'm going to see, look, I'm moving the window around. I'm going to set the mouse right here, plain view. It will not be touched. I'm going to enter a search query, and you're going to see the results populate in line before you even have to hit enter. We're going to look for Seattle. There we go. Results pull up. Ah, results from Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, Google Images, Google Blogs, and here is how I navigate those results. Oh, you can't see me. I'm just uh, I'm navigating the results up and down with the mouse cursor. Or I'm, I'm sorry, <clears throat> the cursor keys on my keyboard. The mouse is over there, not using the mouse. So I can go up and down in this row of data, or I can go right by uh, pressing the, uh, the right cursor key on my keyboard, and then up and down. And if I want to see one of these links, let's say this uh, YouTube link here, the classic crime, Seattle. I hit enter. All right, cool. Don't need to see that. Command W closes that tab. Control W might do the same thing in your web browser. Mm. Oh, it's just so easy to navigate and uh, without having to click anything. I mean, I'm clicking keys, or I guess pressing keys. Mm. Mm. And now my nog is gone. Mm. Dang. 140 calories for a half a cup of low-cal nog. I hate growing old. Keyboarder.com. That's the word. Keyboarder.com. No E there. Not E-R-R. -R. Keyboarder. Thank you. The Slim Jim. That is the proper URL. Uh, we've got a live chat room here that's a part of this video experience as we're recording it. Uh, so the beauty of Keyboarder is that results load quick. They're Google results. They're YouTube results. They're Wikipedia results. Information that you want. And you don't need to use the mouse to navigate. The results that come up. You simply move the carrot, the you know, the, the thing that looks like well, I guess t to me it looks like that, to you it looks like that, you know, the little angle bracket thing. Moves it up and down using the cursor keys on your keyboard, not the cursor that is controlled by your mouse. Don't need the mouse. Well, at least right now, on this website. Keyboarder.com. A lot of people uh, have set keyboarder.com to their home page. I mean, if you set Google as your start page, uh, you know, logged in as your, your personalized start page or not, you know, just a Google search box, um, you may consider switching to keyboarder because it's easier. Uh, the results seem to be just as fast, and you're going to get a different variety of results coming in, you know, after you search for something, and it's just easy to use. So, see so here, I can do a search here for Chris, and wow, look at that, Chris Perillo right there. Of course, I don't have any Chris Pearl results on YouTube or in Google Images, and I'm kind of grateful for that. Google Blogs. Oh, okay, let's do a search for Perillo. See, that's an interesting thing. As I'm moving um, the cursor up and down, it doesn't actually um, move the, uh, the, uh, uh, the text cursor anywhere. It's just moving your... Uh, your navigation cursor. They're two separate things. So like the mouse cursor is controlled, and then you have, you know, the I beam, the bar, you know, and when you're in a search field on a web page, it doesn't actually change if you don't click out of it. Uh, so I can, you know, browse results and try different results without clicking anything differently. So I can do a search for search. And then scroll up and down. And still I can be at the bottom of the page as a matter of fact. And since um, the uh, the field up there is oh and by the way, um, it, it's got the date and time if you don't type anything in. Let's do a search for the letter A. Oh, that's great. Navigate with arrow keys. Open with enter. It's just so simple. Keyboarder.com. Great free resource. Don't need to register. Just pop it into your uh, web address bar. You may need to use your mouse cursor to you know, 
find your way around. But. My email address is chris at perla.com. Maybe you know another great website that we may want to think about setting as our start page or just, you know, any interesting website or service you want to pass along, uh, you, you do it. To me, chris at perla.com. That's my email address. You use whatever means you need to to get carrier pigeon. I still accept carrier pigeon. Not as clean as email, but, you know, hey, it's up to you. If you want to join us in our website of uh, Geeks, you're more than welcome to. It's at geeks.perillo.com. Plenty of things you can do there, including complaining about um, the fact that you only get half a cup of eggnog for 140 calories. Ugh. So frustrating. Hey, gotta get what I can get. Geeks.perlo.com is where you can go to be a geek, hang out with other geeks. Kind of like what you can do in the chat room here. Because the chat room is part of the video experience. Not just the recorded videos, but we're streaming this video live. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.